Okay, we are going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. <laughs> Mayor Walter. Here. Vice Mayor Woolridge. Here. Councilmember Hawkins. Here. Councilmember Galeen. Here. Councilmember Anderson. Here. And Councilmember Wall and Councilmember Larson are not in attendance at this time, but they will be joining us via teleconference in executive session and then they will be joining us via teleconference when we have our new business. We Excellent. do have a quorum. Okay, we'll begin with our call to the public. Call to the public for public comment on issues within the jurisdiction of the town council. Council rules limit public comment to three minutes. Individual council members may respond to criticism made by those commenting may ask staff to review a matter raised or may ask that a matter be put on a future agenda. However, members of the council shall not discuss or take action on any matter during an open call to the public unless the matters are properly noticed for discussion and legal action. Do we have any call to the public at this time? Okay, and closing call to the public. I'll make a motion to adjourn to executive session. I'll second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We're gonna go ahead and get a motion to adjourn from the executive session. I'll make a motion we adjourn executive session. I'll second. Then motion and second that we adjourn from the executive session. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Are you there, Motion Tara? carries. Tara, are you there? Karen, are you there? Karen, are you there? Hello? I'm here. Okay, great. Hold on just one second. Tara, are you there? Okay, we're going to go with Karen. Karen is present. You want to try Kristen? Karen, can you hear? I'm here. Perfect. Okay. New business item 6A, discussion, approval, disapproval of authorizing the town manager and town attorney to file motions to intervene with and or appear before the Arizona Corporation Commission on behalf of the town of Florence in regard to any matters involving the commission's review, public participation, investigations into Johnson Utilities, LLC, operations including but not limited to case numbers WS-02987A-17-2017, WS-02987A-18-0151, WS-20 zero two nine eight seven a dash one eight dash zero zero five zero and w s dash two zero two nine eight seven a dash zero six dash zero six six seven and any other acc proceedings regarding johnson utilities llc as a town manager and town attorney deemed necessary or appropriate to protect the interests of the town. Madam Vice Mayor, uh, members of the council, uh, as you're aware, uh, the town of Florence uh, voted some time ago, the council of town of Florence voted some time ago to intervene uh, in uh, what is known as uh, docket WS 2987A-18. 0050 uh, with the Arizona Corporation Commission uh, concerning uh, Johnson Utilities and operations at Johnson Utilities. Um, there are three other dockets that are associated with that case. Uh, one of them has to do with an existing rate case. Uh, a second has to do with uh, an investigation with respect to water outages uh, that followed up on the first case. And then there's a third case uh, that has to do with a CCNN uh, extension application. And for those watching on TV, 
Uh, CCNN is a certificate of need and necessity, uh, which is essentially the ability to serve uh, in an area. Uh, all three of those cases are, are before the Corporation Commission and staff uh, and legal are asking it at this date if council would consider intervening in those remaining cases uh, to uh, hold all those efforts together uh, towards the end and spirit of, of the first adoption. Thank you. Are there any questions regarding 6A? If there are no questions, I need a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the authorization of the town manager and the town attorney to, to file motions to intervene and or appear before the Arizona Corporation Commission on behalf of the town of Florence in regard to any matters involving the commission's review, public participation, investigations into Johnson Utilities LLC operations, including but not limited to case numbers WS-2987A-17 dash 0392, WS-2987A-18-0151, WS-02987A-18-0001, WS-02987A-06-0001, and any other AAC proceedings regarding the Johnson Utility LLC as the town manager and the town attorney deem necessary or appropriate to protect the interests of the town. I'll second. There's a motion and second to approve item 6A. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 6B, motion to approve and ratify the terms of engagement for legal services approved at the June 18th, 2018 council meeting as it relates to the expenditures for legal services with Riley Carlock and Applewhite and Albert H. Aiken for legal representation of the town of Florence in regulatory matters, including administrative appeals and potential litigation with respect to matters of commission's investigation of Johnson Utilities LLC before the Arizona Corporation Commission. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor, members of the council. Uh, this item relates to the item that was uh, just discussed uh, by the council. Previously, the council has approved the expenditure and the engagement letter with this law firm and Mr. Akin. Uh, relating to the Corporation Commission proceedings. This is merely a clarification, ratification to include the other docket numbers that since that first approval have been opened and uh, it has also been clarified with the law firm's engagement letter for your consideration. Thank you. Are there any questions on item 6B? If not, I will need a motion. I'll make a motion to approve and ratify the terms of engagement for legal services approved at the June 18, 2018 council meeting as it relates to the expenditures for legal services with Riley Carlock and Apple White and Albert H. Aiken for legal representation of the town of Florence in regulatory matters, including administrative appeals and potential litigation with respect to matters of commission's investigation of Johnson Utilities, LLC, before the Arizona Corporation Commission. Second. It has been motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We're up to the town manager's report. Item seven. Madam Vice Mayor, members of council, I have nothing to report this afternoon. Oh, thank you. Item eight, call to the council, current events only. Council Member Hawkins. Well, I just want to make sure everybody knows we're going to have the 4th of July celebration next week and hope to see a good turnout for it and hope that the weather's not too blistering hot. <laughs> yeah. That's it for me. Council Member Anderson. 
I have w one thing that I want to make sure that Brent hears this. Uh, I wish that the rest of the town staff were here. I had a uh, compliments from people living in the Florence Gardens about the street project up there. Uh, they were so pleased with not only the construction process and how thick the pavements were and the, the subsurface and all that, but they were also pleased with the uh, performance of the contractor doing the job. They were friendly, uh, they talked to the people, explained to them what's going on, and it, it's, it was all very positive. So uh, thanks to staff and thanks to the contractor. Council Member Galeen. I just want to um, say how um, distressing it was for the uh, Coco Pelli's building, another historic building on Main Street to have burned down. And more importantly, to remind vacant building owners that they need to really take a look at what they're doing in the town of Florence uh, by not maintaining their buildings and making sure that everything is up to par in those buildings because some of them are not even located within the town of Florence and they need to be aware that they're, they impact other buildings along Main Street. Just, just as a precautionary measure because uh, to many, many, well, I would say to all of the people on Main Street, those buildings are important to them, the ones that are occupied. Thank you, you stole my thunder. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Councilmember Wall, I forgot you were on the phone. Do you have anything you need to add? No, but I appreciate what uh, Councilmember Galeen had to say. I totally agree. Absolutely. I think we all agree with that. It was just devastating to have to lose another building on Main Street. So hopefully people, the owners, will take Becky's advice and please take care of those buildings and do what you need to do. And then on our part, we need to do what we need to do as well to protect our town and our main street. You know, we have to put some teeth into our codes because it is so important that we protect what we already have. Did you say you have a report now, Mr. Billingsley? Yes, ma'am. I just I'm wanted so to, I wanted to add to what Mr. Anderson, I think it was Mr. No, I guess it was Mr. Hawkins had to say. Keep in mind that our Freedom Fest this year on July 4th starts later than it has in the past. It starts at 5 p.m. We're trying to listen to the comments that we received uh, from our citizens uh, and, and try to provide as good of a time as we can from 5 p.m. till after the fireworks and make sure we keep everybody safe and have plenty of entertainment. Uh, but we're, it's no longer gonna be all afternoon. 5, 5 p.m. start. I, Brian's not here, but I'm sure Brian would applaud me uh, clarifying that. Absolutely. Hopefully it'll start cooling down by that time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I, I, I remember? What's a second chance? You can't do that. <laughs> Go ahead, Council. Anyway, uh, at, they're, they're going to have a, uh, um, oh, the, where are they, the cornhole contest <laughs> at the American Legion indoors so it, you'll, you can stay cool. Uh, before the uh, Freedom Fest. Okay. That's nice to do that with the air conditioning. Yes. A... Okay. There's nothing else. I need a motion. Make a motion. We adjourn. Okay. Have a motion and a second. All in favor to adjourn the meeting? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.